DJI Air 3 night mode feature works amazingly well due to the wide angle 1.7 lens. So in this video, we're going to film a route using waypoints that we learned in our last video, link here, and we're going to recall those in the evening and do that same route. There's a big festival on here, so we're going to film that. We're going to stay far from it because we want to be a good 150 meters away. It'll be lovely to see how well this works. Let's dive in. So this is it without the night mode switched on. And if we just click it on, you can see a remarkable difference and everything starts to glow. This is it off again. And notice all the light in the trees when we switch it back on. Now, all we need to do is go to the right hand side to the video icon and you just click on that. On video mode, you slide down to night mode, click on that and it will go into the night mode. Now you can see the transition in action. So I've just taken the drone to the max altitude, then brought it back about 10 meters just to give a nice little space. And as you can see, We've got the event there. I'm just going to go to the squiggly lines on the left hand side. We go to waypoints and I'm going to click the C1 button to make my first waypoint. I'm going to put quite a few waypoints in here. Then finally, we just hit the squiggly lines on the left and it says save and exit. It's very important so we can recall that later. Okay, here we are back on site, ready for our night mission We're to recall our waypoint. Go to waypoints. Get to our save waypoint. 7K. Go next, start recording. Start mission. And this is it in night mode on the wide angle 2.8 lens. As you can see, this is 11 and a half minute flight. So I'm just gonna crack a can of Coca-Cola and sit back and wait for it to complete its mission. To create the day to night transition, open up both video files, the one for the day and the recording for the night in your video editing software. Now you've created two matching video files, a nighttime and a daytime video, then open up both of them in your video editing software. I use Final Cut and I've dropped the day video onto the timeline and dropped the night one above it. And then I just need to line them both up so they match and I can take some key points on this video and find the matching point and slide them up and down. You can also use the opacity slider so you can just move this around and, and find specific points on your video to make sure they line up. Once you're happy with that, you've lined them up. I've marked the points and I'm gonna cut both video tracks and then just remove one drop the other one in to the side of that. So these will be going from one action to the other. And then I'm simply going to put a transition in there and then stretch that out. And then we can just see how that plays. Looking good. I think you'll agree the Air 3 is an amazing bit of kit. There is an affiliate link in the description below if you're thinking of purchasing one. And there's a link to our kit shop for everything I use and recommend. I've got another half a dozen videos being edited at the moment on the DJI Air 3 and a playlist you'll find here with all those videos as they come out. Uh, show me the love, hit the subscribe button up here and Join the conversation in the comments below and I will see you over there.